everybody, this is Travis with Depot's Corner, and welcome to the latest edition of the Week of Frustration, where we put decks together that people are not necessarily all that keen to play against us. And we've got a simple all-blue deck with 24 blue lands, and it's called Unsummoned Folio. And part of it's because I like to use the one copy of Folio of Fancies, where players have no maximum hand size, and you can spend three mana and mill their cards equal to however much they have in their hand at the time. And uh, some people just scoop if, if uh, you get this out on your early turns and you mill them for seven or eight cards in a turn. But uh, the rest of it is mostly just a versions of Unsummoned to throw anything that they put down on the field back up into their hand. If you do it enough times and they have any kind of land problems, they actually are discarding uh, eight cards in their hand. So going through, we have a Null to counter artifact or enchantment spell. Four ops to dig through our deck and draw some cards. Uh, two copies of Stern Dismissal takes care of uh, creatures or enchantments, throws them back up to their hands. Four unsummons. This could actually save a couple of ours because we've got, we've actually got eight creatures. Uh, one multiple choice, where if you spend enough mana, you can do all of the choices. You can scry, return a creature, and create your own 4-4 four, four red and blue elemental creature token. Uh, depart the realm, which you can foretell and return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. One essence scatter, just to cancel out a creature spell entirely. We've talked about folio fancies. If you've got a lot of, uh, enough uh, spare mana, you can actually have both players draw a bunch of extra cards too. Uh, three copies of Into the Royal, where if you kick it, you can draw a card as well as send somebody thing back to their hand. Three unsubstantiates again, return target spell or creature to its owner's hand. One copy of Stone gets some minds as well, depending on the creature's uh, mana value. Acts depends on how many creatures you get. So if you return a creature with mana value three, you'll get three flying fairies. One divide by zero to get us into our sideboard, and we've got uh, Mercurial Transformation, basically one Teachings of the Archaics, one Elemental Summering, and a couple of Fractal Summerings. We've got uh, four copies of Whirlwind Denial, so we can counter activities, uh, abilities the opponent's control as well. Uh, two Brazen Borrowers, those are a couple of our creatures. Again, the, the normal theme here of returning non-land permanents to their owner's hand, but then we also have a couple of Flyers. One didn't say please to counter and mill them. A couple of saw it comings just to counter spells outright. One turn into a pumpkin so we can return a permanent to its owner's hand and draw a card and get a food token. Our one big creature, a 017 Cherix Raging Isle. He's a legendary crab. And uh, this is part of why we have just nothing but islands because we can add to his strength and subtract from his toughness where x equals the number of islands we control. So if we have 10 islands down, he can we spend 3 mana, he goes from 0, 017 to 10, 7. That's always fun. And 4 Riddle Master Sphinx for more flying defense. When they enter the battlefield, you get to send something, a creature back up to the opponent's hand. 1 copy of Sea God's Scorn, which returns 3 target creatures and or enchantments to their owner's hands. Two Sublime Epiphanies, very powerful counter spells that have multiple options you can choose from. And one Cyclone Summoner, which sends everything back to everybody's hand except for Giants, Wizards, and Lands. That's the deck. We're going to take it out for a spin. We're going to see if we can, how long we can get people to play with us. And uh, hopefully it's not too frustrating for them. But uh, the deck is kind of designed to make them feel a little frustrated that they can't play the cards. We'll see how it goes. Like and subscribe, folks. Here we go. All right. As always, if they have just a whole bunch of cheap things, you might be in trouble. And what's white without a bunch of cheap white decks, right? Should we toss it? We'll go ahead and toss it now, I guess. An angel! We'll toss you too. See if you can sense the pattern. counter spell if 
they got one down on us. How dare they? Hmm. We need X to be forced. We actually need one more. See, so, we want to do the best. Everything is so cheap here, I'm not sure how long I can keep this up. Draw the card. Choose a player. Create a token. And now we're cooking with gas. I guess we'll let them do that. Bane Slayer Angel. No. You just go straight to the graveyard, okay? Thank you. What else we got coming up? We don't need more land right this second. Ooh, folio. Excellent. Hmm, yes. You shall know yourself. Oh, that was good. We got rid of Angelic Guardian. Okay, what do we want to do? We want to... Yeah, we want to send you up. Everything's just so cheap. I think he's forgetting our brazen borrower can't block land people. Is that four lands in a row? No. Okay. Three lands in a Bowser Cat. Yeah, okay. Still no problem. Give me some stuff. Oh, that's nice. I like some of that.
That should be good enough. Okay, I need to keep everything free pretty much for the counter spell. Hmm. Alright. Counter the spell. Target the non land permanent. Target a creature I control and target a player. Counter Gling Copy Draw. You should have done the opt first so I didn't get another land. Mill you for seven. What is up with all the lands? I like that. We've got eight cards in their hand. Let's see what they want to try to do. Nope. Bad call. And they quit out of frustration. That's how it works. Only nine cards left. I was going to mill him for at least six more. I still had more returns. Didn't really hurt him. Got him back down to their 20. Life doesn't really matter in this. I could be down to one. They would still quit out of frustration. That's because it's the week of frustration, and this deck is frustrating for them. Okay, we had to wait a long time for this match to come up, so I think it's because they were trying to find a deck that could beat us. So let's see what they came up with. We don't get to go first, do we? Of course not. Why would they ever allow us to go first? I'm not sure how common it is to play folio fancies. They may want to spend their time reading that card to make sure they understand what it does. Green poses a problem because they do have a couple of trample spells. And I did not get my land. That is a problem. Don't really want to get the expensive ones up front. And just go back up. I need more time. More time, please. Thank you. Seriously, Deck? I need land, please. Ugh, so it's gonna be like that, is it? So I guess it couldn't find a deck that could beat me, so it decided it would just fizzle me on lands. If the deck's not gonna deal you lands, there's just not much you can do about it. Hello, Terror of the Peaks. Goodbye, Terror of the Peaks. Cost me three just to target you. That's terrible. You may bring him down just to make me spend free life each time. Oh uh, yeah, we're not gonna let that happen this time.
Take that. And please don't have another Terror of the Peaks handy. I need to wait until I have a Counterspell. That's fine. Bring him down. Go back up. It's a little bit like playing with a yo-yo, kind of. Do you think he spotted the pattern yet? When is he going to attack with the carry to? That's what I want to know. Alright, let's start milling. Good and good. A second one? That's disgusting. This way. He's really determined to get some creatures down, isn't he? Hmm. Artifact or enchantment. Okay, so we'll keep that clear. So, what do we do? I guess we just throw another one back. This is where things get iffy. He's got tons of land and a full hand of spells. And I'm starting to run low on ammo. Ah, we're playing poker. I have a pair, he's got three of a kind. How am I supposed to take care of all of those creatures? Come on now. Let's see. <laughs> well, I guess we can do this. It's a sorcery. Um, no. Put one more land right this second. Eh, never mind, just give me some land. That's fine. Choose a player. You get to choose which card goes back up. Still use the carry pit now. Interesting choice. Three attackers and three blockers. He still just wants to bring him down again. And another one. Okay. Plenty of mana. Okay, we are going to block everybody. I don't think he's got a spell that pumps up all three. He's only got two mana to spend. Can you kill one of them? Let's still let you attack with three next time, and I only have two defenders. Okay. Well, all right, that does remove one of them. And 
into shock. Okay, so you take out two. Except I can do this. And then I can do this. And now you're the one who's a little low on cards. Double your power. But you don't have trample. So I'm fine with both of those. I'm not sure if he understands how this works. That well. See what else he wants to do. Frog Hemoth! Hello, Frog Hemoth. Goodbye, Frog Hemoth. More lands. Perfect. We will let him come down. We kind of don't have a choice because we are tapped out. Turn up to three creatures. Yeah, I like that. Thank you, sir. He's enjoying the whole process. He's going to get some hitters. At least the one hit. Call it a good game and take them out. Works against mono white, works against green and red. What else we got tonight? Okay, this is going to be a problem because that one we can't cast, that one we can't cast, that one we can't cast, and it's going to be a while. So. I probably should have mulliganed. of artifacts, huh? Hmm. All right. Are you going to do anything? No, you don't have enough. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll wait. We'll let you spend all your mana equipping the sucker. And then we'll do something to you. Okay. 
Ok. La capitale. What else we got? Oh, we're one done that. Excellent. Somebody down. Equip. Let's go back up. Are you sensing a pattern, sir? <laughs> Yeah, that should be good enough. You got me beat on lands. I could use one more land right about now. Or one of these. It's fine. everything, didn't it? You gotta block that. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, what do we want to do? You can get everything down again easily that way, so we'll just pass.
Aw, we had other artifacts I could have canceled. Yeah, we'll do this. <laughs> That's fun. Interesting choice. And what will we do? I think we will do this. Ten mana. It's enough to bring down a lot of stuff. Again. Two. Is that a four? Wow. Okay. Uh, one and a two and a three. And a four. One last chance to try. Nobody's scooping tonight, really. Everybody's trying. It's good. I think this is sort of like a variation on a mill deck where you keep playing the mill deck because if you get the right card, you know you have answers in your deck. But somehow the millers always manage to take the one card you needed and they mill it out of your hand or out of your library straight into your graveyard. And all we need to do is get rid of that guy. And we're done. That's how the deck works. Alright, that's going to be our matches for the day. Um, I'm not sure if I should be recommending that people play this deck because I get the feeling being on the other end of it could be extremely frustrating. And that's right, I threw it into this week's rotation. Um, what else do we want to say about this, really, other than... It, it falls prey to some of the same problems as any other deck. You can uh, not be dealt enough land at the beginning. You can float out from land. They could give you all your expensive cards right up front when you don't want them. Uh, we experienced a little bit of that tonight, but we were able to pull it out each time, and we were able to pull them out against relatively fast decks, the red and white artifact decks, uh, the mono white, the green and red tend to be fast too. So it held its own this time and did pretty well. Um, so, yeah, I'd recommend that you, if, if you got these cards, go ahead and put them together. 
give it a go see how you like it and uh, come back tomorrow and we'll have a different entry in the week of frustration for you and I'm not sure how much I should be trying to frustrate magic players out there but it wasn't really an intention it was just I, I grabbed together a few of the decks that I saw that it seemed to be frustrating and, and just lumped them all together for this week but uh, if you'll recall for the first month of our videos it was uh, evergreen month and we did tutorials based on all the different mechanics that were in Magic the Gathering this was sort of not a mechanic that I had originally thought of but it might go in with evergreen month pretty well because it's based around mostly just the idea of using the unsummon mechanic and it works uh, amazingly well usually there's in a lot of other blue counter spell decks or control decks there are four to six of these type of cards in there just to give them a beat to do some stuff in this case we made it almost the majority of what we were doing was just on summoning and it turns out that that can give you enough beats that even if you have just eight creatures you can still do stuff in the spaces that are left in between that way so yeah I'd encourage you to take a take a spin on this deck and see how much fun it is for you so with that like and subscribe the videos share them with a friend come back again because there's always going to be another new deck right around the corner have a good one